Not surprisingly, chocolate scored high on your pleasure list. It wasn't what I wrote down, but I do adore it, and it's in my top ten. To find out more, I've come to meet chocolate maker Chantal Cody. Why do you think people are so addicted to chocolate? Why do you think it hits the pleasure centres so satisfactorily? Well, you know, I have a theory that when you're a small baby and you have your mother's milk, I think there's something very, very close in the sort of taste and the way it feels in the mouth to white chocolate. You're so, putting me up. I think, You're no, putting no, me I think, up, I have to say. I think, I'm thinking my it. mother's milk, this is not necessarily selling this chocolate, well, but yeah. I think chocolate is one of those foods that appeals to the caveman in all of us. It's got fat and sugar, it melts um, just below blood temperature, it's a uniquely sensual food. When you put it on the tongue, you allow it to melt and then it rises up and you get all the wonderful sensations of flavour coming through into your nose and then obviously it gets the brain synapses snapping and it is a fantastically sort of primal thing that as human beings we all crave that sort of experience. Chantelle's handmade chocolates taste wonderful but for what I'm about to do I need quantity not quality. I'm going to eat as much chocolate as I can to illustrate one of the most important rules of pleasure. Pleasure is a short-term reward for doing what your body wants. And at the moment, I think my body wants me to eat chocolate. And I do like chocolate, I like it a lot. But this is where it melts in your mouth. It's all that fat and sugar and a sort of delicious melting package. There's also something slightly illicit about it. That's why it's a guilty pleasure. The orbitofrontal cortex, which is the bit of my brain behind my eye sockets up here, is the part that tells me how much I like something. For example, at the moment it's probably telling me I like chocolate. But it also tells you the moment when you've had enough. This same eat as much chocolate as you can experiment was done by a bunch of volunteers inside a brain scanner. The instant the participants said they'd had enough, Activity in the OFC changed, moving from the centre to the outside. This showed the moment enjoyment turned to revulsion. It's this reaction that gives pleasure its defining feature, transience. So what happens if you override your pleasure circuit and ignore the fact that pleasure is not designed to last forever? Well, pleasure turns to pain. I've probably eaten as much chocolate in that one sitting as I would normally eat in a couple of months. I cannot imagine I will ever get pleasure from chocolate again. Oh, God, no. <laughs>